Well, today I have some exciting news and I'm also going to be sharing a second trimester update. But first I want to share that I have created a blog. It is the same as my YouTube channel name, Davy Killian. So you can find it at davykillian.com. I've had a few blog posts up already correlating with some of my YouTube videos, like my winter home decor for the kitchen and the living area. My weekly cleaning routine is up and I am hoping to share about weekly or bi-weekly just some homemaking inspiration, some food from scratch recipes, some simple and thrifted living, and just ways to be a better homemaker and to hopefully encourage and inspire you. So that is what I am doing with my blog and it was something I've been really considering for a couple years honestly and I finally just bit the bullet and decided to go for it. And I know there's always lots of things that are going on in my life and different people's lives, but I am so glad I did start this. And the fun thing is I can just re-pull up some of my old YouTube videos too and just write a little more in depth on my blog as well. And so that is why if you want to stay connected, more personally, then definitely subscribe to the blog. I will send out newsletters, maybe some free printables, um, maybe I'll be writing an ebook of some sort. You never know what I'll be coming out with. Some labels, my cleaning schedule is over on the blog, and so just things that you can get access to if you are headed over that direction. And you know, with the way that the World Wide Web works and YouTube works, we may not always be connected through YouTube. There are things that can get people shut down on here. And so having a blog just helps me stay more connected to you through email connection as well. So I will be um, doing that along with these videos. They won't always correspond or correlate together, but I'm hoping to just get out more inspired homemaking um, content on my blog and just like some daily life. Like I said, some recipes, some gardening, as that will be coming up soon too. And so I just wanted to announce that to you guys, as you may not have known through, I posted on Instagram that I started that on my stories. I haven't really put the word out there. So I wanted to officially announce that I have a blog now as well. And I'm very excited to start this endeavor and continue in it. And I know I'll have writing skills to work on still, but I really enjoy just the in-depthness of what I can write on, just pour out my heart a little bit more through writing. Can't always do that in video form. And so I have enjoyed it so far and it's just been something that um, I've been passionate about lately and want to share in what better time of year than the winter months when I don't have to be out gardening. So the blog, yes, davykillian.com is where you can go over to check that out. Check out a few of my posts, my about me page. You can subscribe to my channel or subscribe to my blog. I've got to get used to saying that as well, just for some newsletters to be more connected through the email as well. So hope to see some of you guys over there on that um, and again I'll be getting more posts up throughout the months and weeks as they come so that is my special announcement there and so if you want to just stop the video here that's great if you don't care about a second trimester pregnancy update totally understand some of you don't care about that part but some of you do so I when you will see this I am 24 weeks along currently 23 so I've been in my second trimester for a while now and it has been going quite smoothly so I did get that uphill climb um, just feeling more myself and having more energy I haven't craved anything haven't really uh, felt much for like cramps and pains other than I do get a little bit of heartburn if I eat too much red sauce or spice because I do carry a tad higher I mean my, this is my third pregnancy. So my first pregnancy, 
I was very high. I carried very, very high. Second pregnancy, a little bit lower and didn't gain a lot of weight except in the belly. And this pregnancy, I haven't weighed myself in eight weeks or so. Um, and so I don't know even what I am, but I feel like I have put on a little bit more weight with this pregnancy, which is what it is. It's my third. It could be bound to happen. But I also just feel like I am up a little bit higher again, so I do get heartburn in the evenings if I eat some spicier food. One thing I did start for sure, beginning of second trimester, was the red raspberry leaf tea. I know there's controversy on when to start red raspberry leaf tea. Some say wait till the third trimester. With both my other pregnancies, I started beginning of second trimester faithfully, like 12 ounces a day at least, and so it's supposed to just help with the uterus and tightening of that and just being able to have a smoother labor and so i will say that i did very well with my last pregnancy and don't know if that really was the case or not but if it's not hurting me i am going to keep doing what i am doing with the red raspberry leaf tea so that is something i recommend drinking if you are in that second trimester do your research do what's best for your body if you want to start not till third trimester totally understand but this is what I have been doing um, at the beginning of the second trimester I guess when I announced my pregnancy I was already over 14 weeks along so I was still tired and having some nausea but that went away about 14 weeks and I just felt really pretty good I do feel like a little tightness and some pelvic pain as well if um, like I do too much, I don't know what I'd say, like even squatting down to play with the girls sometimes, just a little bit of pressure, um, in the pelvic floor area. So I am doing Kegels, doing some pelvic floor exercises, highly recommend that as well. If you've even had children already and you're done, I think every woman, my midwife even told me this, every woman should do some pelvic floor strengthening and I highly, highly recommend it because we should be able to um, have strength down there even after all of our children. So I've been working on that continually throughout my pregnancy. I've still been working on just relaxing breathing because that helped with my second pregnancy so much. It got me through a lot of my contractions. Didn't even feel like I was having much for contractions because I do the Bradley Method style of birth and so that is my hope and plan for this pregnancy and this labor uh, a little different this time you've heard me mention midwife i am not doing a hospital birth i either will be doing a birth center birth or a home birth so that is my option this time where i live in south dakota it is now legal for midwives to have a practice in this state it was not for quite a while so i was very excited to find my nurse and midwife actually opened up well, my nurse midwife in the hospital opened up a midwife practice with her sister and left the hospital practice to do the midwifery and so i was so excited because it's the same nurse midwife that i had for both my other girls which is such a blessing sweet lady christian woman who i have loved having and so amazing that she is willing to do this and then God opened that door up for her to start being a midwife. So I'm excited about that. We have time to decide on a birth center or a home birth. As long as pregnancy things look good for the rest of the time, they're willing to do a home birth. We live in a small town away from a bigger city. So um, the only issue could be the travel if something does happen during labor to travel up to a large hospital so that would be the only issue of not having a birth center birth is we would be a lot closer because we'd be in the city where we are close to in south dakota but for now we'll just keep praying about what we want god's hand to do for um, home birth or a birth center birth and go from there i will be doing i'm um, just more relaxed breathing, more stretching, more pelvic floor strengthening. I've been trying to eat pretty healthy, especially with the new year. Been just watching my sugars and things like that, a lot of whole fats. Definitely need to eat a lot more fats and um, proteins being pregnant too. It just is such more satiating and 
I'm supposed to be eating you know, about 500 more calories <laughs> once that second trimester hits. So that is something I do still need to work on. It's just sometimes hard when you're watching two little ones already. But that is something I'll continue to work on. I will also be updating you on later weeks when I get closer, uh, third trimester, after um, I hit that third trimester because things do change when you hit that third trimester. But so far, it has been looking good. I don't really have much to say and if you don't remember, we are not finding out the gender. So I did have my 20 week ultrasound my anatomy ultrasound and everything with baby looks good and healthy and so I just feel very blessed. I'm feeling a lot of more movement. My placenta is in the front so I don't feel as much movement but it is still good to feel those little kicks and the little elbows and you know things like that as the baby starts to grow. I will pop in here to just share a little baby bump picture or a little video. It's um, definitely bigger than I have been in my past two at this point of my pregnancy at 23 weeks along. So there's my two little update and my special vlog announcement. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to go check out my blog if you are interested and I'd love to have you subscribe to the blog over there as well to just be more personally connected with you and my um, simple homemaking group that is over there. All right, love you guys and talk with you.